So if you aren't aware, Signal is one of the premier communication apps. It offers end-to-end -end encryption in order to secure communications. But what if your country is blocking Signal? Now this is a huge gap in your digital data privacy. Um, so we're gonna show you how to quickly set up a simple TLS proxy in order to bypass these censorship efforts. Uh, it's pretty, pretty simple and straightforward. First, we're gonna have to set up our server. Now you can host your own server or you can use uh, one of the plethora of online providers and set up a virtual private server. Now you have a uh, Volter, DigitalOcean, or Linode. Um, I'll be generating a Linode instance for this example. I'll drop my referral link in the description below. This will give you a $100 credit towards creating Linode instances. Um, now there are two things here. You're gonna wanna go with shared CPU and choose the $5 option. Uh, this is the cheapest option. The other thing is to be cognizant of the region you select. Um, for example, if you're in the Middle East, it's probably not a smart idea to choose a VPS instance in North America or Europe. Um, you're gonna maybe wanna go with Singapore or Mumbai. Um, just, just be cognizant of that portion. So after you create your Linode instance, you're gonna wanna power it on and then either launch the console to interact with it or use SSH, which we already did here. So the first step is to install Docker and Docker Compose. Um, after you do that, you're gonna wanna ensure that your current user has access to Docker. Now we're gonna clone the Signal TLS uh, proxy repo, and then we're gonna CD into it. Uh, now in here, there is a script that configures and provisions a TLS certificate from Let's Encrypt. Uh, but before that, we're gonna have to acquire a domain. So there are a couple places that you can purchase a domain, uh, Epic, Namecheap, GoDaddy, uh really it's just finding the cheapest one uh with the coolest name that you want so we can go ahead and type in please don't censor me and see what comes up um great great captcha filter by the way uh so here's one please don't censor me dot xyz for a dollar 99 uh and this is a yearly registration after you purchase your domain, you're gonna to wanna to take the public facing IP address of your VPS and then go back to your registrar and create an A record utilizing that IP address in order for your domain to point back to your VPS. There are two ways you can check to see if your DNS records have been updated. You can go to DNS checker um, and then just type in your purchase domain name and I can see that my 172 address uh, was already mirrored. The other way is by just doing a quick uh, dig command on your, your domain and you can see uh, your A record there. So after you verify those A records, you're gonna go back to your VPS and run that helper script and then paste in that uh, domain you just purchased. Um, Pretty impossible to mess up. Uh, everything's running in Docker. And then after that, you're gonna run Docker compose up detach, uh, and then you're gonna be finished. Now to verify if that worked, you're gonna go to your Signal app, and on Android, in the settings options, you're gonna go to data and storage. You're gonna scroll all the way down, and you're gonna see use proxy. Here you're gonna turn it on, and then paste in this uh, syntax. You're gonna do HTTPS signal.tube, whack, and then the pound sign. And then you're gonna insert your domain name that you just purchased. Ours was securiosity.co. Uh, you're gonna click save and you're gonna see a success message. Uh, the other way to verify that this worked is after implementing your proxy, you'll see a green shield uh, when you go to your signal app. Now that you're done, go ahead and share that link with your friends and family. 
Uh, be sure to do it privately so it doesn't get blacklisted anywhere. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you found it useful, hack the algorithm for us. Let us know in the comments, throw us a like or two. Uh, if you're still confused, uh, let us know in the comments and we can figure out how to send you a, another uh, proxy address privately. Other than that, cheers. We'll see you guys on the next one.